Hello everyone, Blue Cody here. I'm super excited to bring to you guys a great video today. A couple of months ago, the Greenfield YouTube channel released a video where I walked you guys through how to install and download the world on Windows. Well, today I'm going to be walking you through how to do the same thing on Mac. I realize that not everybody has a Windows computer and some of you are wondering how to do it on Mac. So today is your lucky day. I'm uh, very uh, excited to bring this to the Greenfield YouTube channel. So to kick off this tutorial, the first thing that you're going to want to do is very simple. You're going to want to head over to the Greenfield Planet Minecraft page. This is uh, pretty easy stuff. We'll have the link down in the description. You just want to go and head down there. And of course, you can read through all the fun stuff, but we're not going to be focusing on all that stuff today. We're going to be just downloading the world using this orange button. It's normally blue. Uh, but be because it's October, Planet Minecraft has a bit of a, an orange orange flair. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into this here. Go ahead and click continue. That warning is okay. That's just a little bit of a thing that Planet Minecraft does to warn you that you're leaving the site. That's all right. And of course, that link, this button right here, is going to take you to the Mediafire page. Now, there's a couple of things to pay attention to on Mediafire, of course. And that is that you don't want to click any of these ads. This is very important because really these aren't good ads. Um, they can sometimes give you viruses, things like that. Uh, there's even ads down here. Uh, not good stuff. The only button you want to click is this blue button right here that says download. So we're going to go ahead and download it. And um, the way to do it on macOS is you'll get this little pop-up here that uh, allows you to save it to a certain file. We're just going to keep it at the downloads folder. You can add a tag. Um, I'm sure you know how to do this. This is pretty basic stuff here. Um, you can, you want to save it as a zip or archive, of course, but we're going to go ahead and save it. Uh, if it doesn't download, you can go ahead and click this button that says repair your download. Um, but ours is working. So we're going to go ahead and let that run for a while. Um, of course you want it to finish. However, I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel, but normally you would of course let this run through and download fully. So we're going to go ahead and cancel it. That's all right. And I'm just going to minimize Chrome. And we're going to go ahead and jump into this app called Finder. I'm sure for you Mac users that have been using this for a while, um, you've seen and used Finder before. And we're going to go ahead and hop over to our downloads. Excuse me, that's not downloads. This is downloads. And you can see that I have Greenfield downloaded right here. I downloaded it yesterday. Now we're going to go ahead and open it by double clicking. And macOS already has an app called Archive Utility that will automatically extract and open up Greenfield and it will make it a folder that will be available in your downloads folder and you can see right here Here's the folder that I was talking about You can go ahead and open it up and you have a bunch of good things inside here You have your warp files if you want to uh, run a server and have the gr official Greenfield warps You have a readme. Uh, this is very important right here. You have the texture pack um, We're gonna take a look at that a little bit later and then of course you have the actual uh, World folder we're gonna want to pay attention to that as well and of course, you have the HD overview for maps, like an interactive map, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and take our uh, folder right here and just drag it over to the desktop. And we're going to go ahead and leave our zip folder. You can see um, it is right here on our downloads. Now, as you can see, we did pull it over from this folder. If you just want to copy it, you can go ahead and uh, double tap with two fingers, excuse me. And we're going to just go ahead and copy, uh, which is right Right here and we're just going to go ahead and uh, two click again and paste back into here that way you have a spare copy of greenfield that will take a little bit to copy back in and once it copies back in you'll be good i just forgot that little bit of a little information if you want to have like an extra copy laying around you just want to copy it but without further ado let's hop back into finder and you're going to want to on your keyboard press command shift and h all at the same time. This will bring up this uh, advanced file explorer and we're going to go and hit settings. Now we're going to scroll down to show view options here and right uh, in this little category here we're going to want to go ahead and click show library folder. This is very important. Some of you may not know how to do this. This is the only way to get into your what is the Mac OS version of the dot minecraft folder. Go ahead and open up library Go ahead and click application support. It should be right up at the top if you have Minecraft installed. And we're going to scroll down till we find the dot Minecraft folder, which I've already scrolled down and found it, but it is right here. Go ahead and open that up and you'll see a couple of folders. Uh, the one that you want to find is, of course, the saves folder. 
go ahead and open that up and I have nothing in here because this is a brand new fresh uh, install of Minecraft. But if you have worlds in here, those folders will be in there as well. Go ahead and uh, click and drag your greenfield folder right in there. As you can see, it is already in, in there and ready to go. Next up, we're gonna install the texture pack. Of, so to do that, we're gonna head back to the downloads folder. Go ahead and open up the, uh, the extracted folder that we got from our .zip. Go ahead and open that up again. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, click with two fingers. Um, go ahead and click copy. And we're gonna do this a little bit of a different way. Maybe you, know, maybe you wanna do it this way, it's a little bit easier. And again, hitting command shift and H. As you can see, our library folder is already there, but again, if you missed it the first time, you wanna click the little gear icon up here, click show view options, and then show library folder right here. That is very important. Go ahead and open up your library folder again. Go to application support. Scroll down, let me show you what it looks like. This is what it'll look like if you're up at the top. Go ahead and scroll down to your .minecraft folder, which is right here. Go ahead and open up resource packs. And of course we wanna click with our two fingers again. Go ahead and click paste item. And as you can see, it has pasted in the texture pack. Now to double check to make sure those things are ready to go, go ahead and open up Finder once more. Click Applications, Find Minecraft. Go ahead and launch that up. Now I do apologize, it might get a little laggy here, but we're gonna go ahead and click Play. And of course, while we're waiting for it to load up, I would like to mention that this is Mac OS Catalina. If you're on an older Mac, um, you might have some uh, slight problems with um, the operating system, or perhaps it might be a little bit different, but this is Mac OS Catalina as a little bit of information there. And once Minecraft loads up, we can do one thing really quickly. We we're gonna load up the resource pack first just to make sure that it's all good to go. So you wanna go to options, resource packs, of course, and you'll see that the resource pack for Greenfield is all ready to go. Now it will say since we're in 1.16, it's made for 1.15. That's all right, go ahead and chuck that in. Yes, it's okay to load this pack and go ahead and click done. And to double check that the resource pack is applied, go ahead and you'll see that this lovely little menu here, that's fantastic. Now to see if the world transferred correctly, go ahead and click single player, and you'll see that the world will be right up top here. If we wanna go ahead and play in it, that's fine. Now, uh, duly noted, Greenfield 0.5.3 is for 1.14.4. Minecraft is advancing versions quite quickly, but it's okay to go ahead and load that up. We would just wanna click, uh, I know what I'm doing. That's all right, and it will load up Greenfield. And as you can see there, Greenfield will eventually load up, I'm sure, but because I'm screen recording, it will take a while. But that's all right. As long as everything works fine, you're good to go. If you have a problem with the world, don't sweat it. You can just go ahead and go back into your downloads folder. Go ahead and open up your folder once more. Uh, click with two fingers. Go ahead and click copy, which is right here. And then you just wanna go ahead and repeat the same process. Command, Shift, and H. Head back to your library folder, application support, Minecraft, saves, which is right here. And then you can go ahead and paste the folder back in if you have a world or maybe you even could destroy Greenfield a little bit too much. But once you have that done, you are all ready to go and explore the many thousands of blocks that makes up Greenfield. It's a lot of fun and I really encourage you to do it. There's lots of Easter eggs and fun and stuff like that. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and please consider subscribing to the Greenfield YouTube channel and also consider uh, following our social media. We always post lots of fun updates there. But thank you guys so much for watching and have just a wonderful, wonderful day.